everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We uh, didn't stream it yesterday, but we're streaming it today. Hope you guys uh, are having a great time. Let's see if we can get ourselves a uh, diamond or rare feral pig today. Thank you, Drawn. Much appreciated as always. Uh, Chase, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Good living in the town of Postville in North Antarctica. The hourglass ticks whale crow streams for hours. Hey, that's what we're doing, man. We're here. We're here for the streaming. We're here for streaming for hours. Here for your entertainment. Hope you're having a good day, dude. Do I have the binos that I need? I don't think I have the night vision binos on me. There we go. Let me just plug my phone in real quick, guys. Okay, there we go. We're good. Two level three pigs there. Oh no, Indo, that's rough. That's very rough, man. <laughs> Those poor pigs, man. Those poor little pigs. Um, if you've watched the recent Way of the Hunter videos I've done, Squash, I said in the videos that I was going to be doing more. It's going good, Hoyt. It's going good. Oh, and also, guys, if I don't talk as much for the first bit of this stream, it's because I got a little bit of a headache. So if I don't talk quite as much, that's why. Hey, Clay, how's it going, man? Lots of small male piggies. What are you? A two as well. Oh, so many twos. Yikes. Holy, these pigs are tanking. Okay, we got four of them. Not bad. Hey, Spooky, how's it going, man? Hopefully L Sports, that's what we're going for. Nice, Kinsko, how's it going, dude? Hope the moose grind has been well uh going well for you. Uh no, Rebel, it's not.
It has, but super slow. Yeah, it's a slow grind, man. It's a very slow grind. Uh, we're going for a diamond and also for a um, albino uh, Carter because I don't have either of them. Oh, no worries, Dunter. No worries, man. Oh, I didn't check what was over here. Yikes, I probably should have. Oh, they didn't spook. We're good. Just boop that little guy. Uh, not sure, Millie. Not sure. I don't know if they can. What, we what weapons am I using? I'm currently using the 308 and the 300. I already answered you, Rebel. I already answered, uh... It's not a rare. It's not a rare for the, uh, feral pigs. It's rare for wild boar, but not feral pig. Where are they? Been good, BTL. Got a little bit of a uh, headache, but other than that, I'm doing good. Why do I only change the time by a couple minutes at a time? Because uh, the only purpose of it for me is trying to reset where the animals are, right? So doing stuff like going to the main menu, resetting the time will force animals into their zone. Like right here, you see that there's nothing here, but there is a group that has a zone there. So we set it back a few minutes. And there's one of them right there. Just a way to get them in their zones quicker. Hey, Jebba, how's it going? That's a new one. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Efficiency over cost. That's kind of my goal in most of the grinds, is to be as quick and efficient as I can. And so, yeah, I do a lot of time resets to get them to their zones. Hey, Solaris, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. There's our little pet level one. I forgot what his name is. What was his name? I forgot what we named him. Okay, these were further over here. Oh yeah, right there.
Nice. Oh yeah, it was Feralt. That's right. Hey, Flat Pop, how's it going, man? Nice little level four down. Jeez, Necron, that's crazy. Hey Noah, how's it going? I'm doing okay, Flat Pop. Got a headache and stuff, but other than that, I'm good. Uh, no, Brady, it doesn't. Um, it's decent, Burger. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the best fishing game out there, but if you want, like, a more relaxed, fast-paced fishing game, kind of, like, uh, similar to the Hunter Call of the Wild, then it is a, a very fun game. Exactly, Bubbles. Let's see, what's the best way to put it? Also, how's it going, Bubbles? Hope you're doing good. The way I see the angler is it's the fishing game for those that find other fishing games boring. Wait, is that a light brown? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'd say take it down, Jebba. I'd say take it down, man. Not sure, Bubbles. Not sure. I'm assuming that he's busy. We've been having a lot of storming and stuff, so he's been off of the uh, electronics more because of uh, power outages and things. Nice. Imagine Crow learns to hit birds. That'd be crazy. Uh, yeah, Hunter, she is. She's doing good. Nice, Kaluk. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. Turkey aim. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? There you go, Bubbles. There he is. There's Johnny for you. What great one do I want the most? I really want to get a fabled birch, uh, typical rack for the moose. That would just be insane. Looks like we got two we can take out. I have no idea if we got the second one.
Nice, Parker, that's awesome. Nice, Forestry. It sucks that it reset, but uh, at least you got a couple diamonds while looking for them again. Not going to chase the other one. Oh, also, guys, got some new uh, additions to the soundboard. I uh, added one, you know, just in case we have a bad day, something bad happens, and Scarecrow just wants to say something like, because that would just be, you wouldn't want to hear that now, would you? So instead, we've got this right here. And then we also have uh, like a little bit of a record scratch for like uh, the the moments where we just got to take a double a double take and, and try to figure out what's going on. Beautiful. So that should be fun to mess around with. What in the wild world of piggies is going on here? Nice level four. That's what's going on. How did that second one miss? And the third. Finally, got him. Hey, you're right, Ben. You're right. You're not wrong, you're right. Ba da ba ba ba, we got a pig. 135, wow, that's a good one. I do, Necron, I do. Because, you know, there's just sometimes where you gotta say, <laughs> but you don't wanna have to, you know, get the repercussions from it. That's, uh, that's exactly what that's for. Nice, Python. Nice, dude. Oh, no, Chase. That's not good. I think that's kind of an important thing to have not break. Exactly, Random Hunter, exactly. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he darted. Well, that didn't go as I wanted. Got one, though. Nice, Python. That's awesome, dude. That's a cool trophy for sure. Render in, please. Maybe they're not there yet. No, Hunter, it's not for videos. It's just for live streams. It's just for the live streams to add a little bit of like a comedic value, right? I think we just got one of those. Yeah, looks like just one. Feels bad, man. Oh, they did, Johnny? That's awesome. What does HM mean? Uh, well, somebody in chat told you, one of the moderators told you, but, uh, you probably didn't pay attention to it. Yeah, good luck, I bet, man. I bet. Jeez, Orbog, that's how it goes, man. Well, one thing to keep in mind is throughout your grind, new zones will appear, so... It could have been a zone that wasn't there before. T2, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. You're back. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Oh, no worries, the pioneer. No worries, dude. All right, I'll give you guys a hint on what HM means. What do we do with most of our grinds here on the channel? Because HM is just that is just that abbreviated. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Yep, exactly, exactly. It means we're not doing herd management this grind. Because there's a lot of people that don't like herd management and want to see some normal grinds, so we've uh, brought some normal grinds into the mix as well. Nice level fours over there. No idea if we got that last one.
That is such a strange bug, but I love it. All right. Uh, Matus, thank you so much for the super chat. Hopefully I said your name right. Could you give me some advice for hunting Red Deer Grey 1? I recommend checking out the Red Deer guides that I've got. I've got a, a full guide for Red Deer hunting. That's probably going to be your best bet. Uh, one of the mods can bring it up in the chat real quickly. Nice, Thunder, that's awesome, man. Also, how's it going? Um, in what way, Justin? What, uh, what part is, uh, is hard to figure out? Just, like, how it works, or what? Maybe at some point, Swisser, maybe at some point. I'm not really too knowledgeable on the pigs yet, because we just started, but... Maybe one of these days I can do one. A few days, Vince. Maybe about six hours of grinding in total. Oh, that's what you mean, Justin. I, that completely went over my head. <laughs> I get it. Yep, got it, Johnny. What map is this? This map is Tiabaroa. Nice four. Actually, that's a small four, but it's still a four. Can we get pigs here? I think we can. Let's check this area. Maybe at some point, Pioneer. There's rumor that they might look into the fabled piebald and make it a little bit easier to get. So if they do that, then I would definitely return to the whitetail grind and try to get a few more. But I heard a lot of people were saying that on the EW stream, the last one that they did, or something like that, they were saying they were going to look into the whitetail and see if maybe the fabled piebald wasn't spawning right or something. And so if they do that and they increase it or something, then we'll do some more grinds for sure. But until something like that happens, it's hard to say when we'll return. Because we already hunted whitetail so, so much. Uh, no, Justin, you can't get up there. See, it's like, uh, it's out of the map. This is the border right here. The borders on Tiabaroa are very strange. Me too, Johnny. It makes no sense. Makes no sense the way they designed them. Okay, I guess they can't be there. Good to know. I've heard they can be here, but we haven't seen any, so I don't know. I think we got most of our pigs, to be honest. 
There might be some coastal zones there, though. That is a pretty high possibility. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Definitely. Nice four there. Uh, mm, what? Mm, <laughs> uh. That's not how you drink. I think he's doing it wrong. He, he's doing something wrong. And reloading would probably help. Oh! Accidental kill on that level three, I'll take it. Okay, nice. Oh, I love Tiawaroa Duck. It's my favorite map, man. Such a good map. But just because it's my favorite doesn't mean there's some things that couldn't, or doesn't mean that there isn't some things that could be improved. Oh, speaking of things that uh, could be improved, I swear some of the Way of the Hunter simps in the community are just ridiculous on how much they will stick up for everything in the game. I had a video recently, right? You guys probably saw it. It was the albino buck. And I was given some criticism and like constructive criticism saying I'd like to see the uh, coloration be a little bit more bright, like a little more white, less of a gray look to the albinos. And somebody in the comments was like, have you even seen an albino deer in real life? No animal in real life is going to look perfectly clean. This is the problem with people that uh, come from Call of the Wild and that's all they play. They don't know what they're talking about in terms of real animals and stuff. And it's like, you can literally look up, just type in albino whitetail deer into, into Google or anything and you will see that they do not look gray. <laughs> Like, some of the simps for Way of the Hunter are ridiculous. And nine times out of ten, they're completely wrong with what they're saying as well. Just find it hilarious. Their default is always like, well, you're a Call of the Wild player. How would you know? And it's like, no, I'm a hunting game player. It just so happens that uh, Call of the Wild is the most polished hunting game out right now, besides the Hunter Classic. Usually not actually, Duck. Most of the time it is people that are more around my age. What the? Where did these come from? Yeah, I mean, I've got like almost 200 hours on Way of the Hunter between my uh, early access and playing it on the live game. Exactly, Duck. That's what I'm saying. This is honestly why I stopped doing the Hunter Classic as well. Uh, there's a very hardcore part of the community that are just the Hunter Classic elitists where they think they know everything and that everybody else is wrong. That's one of the reasons I stopped playing Classic. Because I didn't want to be a part of uh, that whole elitist I know everything type of community. And sadly, it seems like a lot of them are uh, spilling over into the Way of the Hunter community as well. 
Oh, definitely, Brim. Definitely. And it's hilarious. They're always their default is like either, oh, you you've probably never even hunted in real life, or oh, you probably uh, you need to stop basing everything off of Call of the Wild. And it's like, well, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I have hunted in real life many times growing up, and I also. I also know a little bit about these types of games, right? It's not like I just say stuff. If I give an opinion or I give some feedback, it's because I genuinely feel that way, right? Or I've genuinely done the research and can tell you that it needs adjustments. Like the albinos in Way of the Hunter, the lighting does not do them justice. The lighting makes them look gray. And that was actually my whole point was that the lighting was kind of bad. And so the lighting made them look more gray than they were. But hey man, some people just don't understand constructive criticism. Ooh, two fours. First time we've had double fours at a zone. I like Way of the Hunter Bison. I just don't like uh, the elitist part of the community. Alright, we're going to need to reset the time. I just realized they're moving away. Favorite great one species? I'd say Whitetail Vex. My favorite great one is actually the moose, but my favorite great one species has to be whitetail. I would say red deer, but unfortunately the red deer great one doesn't have enough variety, so... Kind of makes them fall down in the list for me. It's hard to say, Spice. Like, there's been times where I've literally just said that... Uh, Way of the Hunter still needs more content before I'll be um, playing it more consistently. And they took that as... They took it as if I was just saying that it doesn't have enough content. And then they're like, oh man, you can't judge a game for not having content when it's a new game. And I'm like, I, I literally said that it's got time to improve because it's still really early. But hey, some people, they'll gloss over everything you say, except for, like, one portion of it where they think they can make a point. Uh, yeah, Vex, there's three different Great One Red Deer racks and only one fur type. For me, it's uh, mainly the fur types that I'd like to see more of on the red deer. More fur types would do them wonders. Well, we got one of them. Better than nothing. You can start a grind at any point, uh, Caden. Um, I think it's either Fallow or Fox Hunting Freak. I feel like, uh, Fallow have been a highly requested great one for years. And Fox just got a rework, so I think they are the two most likely ones. But it's definitely not my number one pick for most wanted, that's for sure. I really want to see a Blacktail, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Sadly. Nice sports buff. Hopefully it goes well for you. Hope it goes well, my dude. Yeah, it could be lion. That's for sure. It definitely could be. It is starting to seem like maybe they will kind of branch off of base maps for the next one. That'd be really nice. Let's be honest, everybody would love a Lion Great One. 
Like, I don't think there's many people that would be opposed to it. It's one of the few non-antlered species where a great one would just be phenomenal. Hey, Sam, how's it going, man? Have you been able to get into uh, Tarkov or is it still being stupid? Hogzilla? Yeah, that'd be cool. Hogzilla would be a cool, uh, a cool concept for a great one. Uh, let's go check this zone. Definitely, Justin, definitely. That would be really cool, Johnny. That would be cool. To be honest, I don't know how they haven't released a second Africa map yet. Like, come on. Give us Africa too. It's what the people want. If they release um Africa 2 or a Texas map or Australia, I'll be happy with any of those. Really hoping for Africa 2 or Texas, but Australia would also be a pretty awesome option. I still just feel like a Texas game ranch could be just a, a phenomenal map option, so that's probably still my most wanted. But uh Africa 2 would be great as well. Release Africa 2 with a great one elephant. You know, that would actually be pretty. That'd be an insane way to like just reclaim their spot. Or I guess further secure their spot as the top hunting game. Because I mean, ultimate hunting is going to be out early 2023 from what I understand right so it would make sense uh, make the next map something huge and uh, slapping a lion great one on there that would or not a lion great one a uh, an elephant with a great one that would be that'd be a good way to kind of further seal their uh, spot as the top game No clue, GTA player. No clue. Great one, Warthog. That could be interesting. Small predator, great one. I personally wouldn't be too interested in it, but I know there's a lot of people that would be. No, John, no great one rabbit. <laughs> no great one rabbit. Don't, don't jinx us. Don't do it. Last thing I want to be doing is chasing Bugs Bunny for 4,000 kills. Oh gosh, it would hurt. It'd be so painful. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. That's honestly what we need to do, guys. I think instead of uh, just talking about it normal like we do, we need to make this like Turkeys 2.0. Just like everywhere, just be like, where's Africa 2? Where's Africa 2? Instead of, uh, like, like back when it was the turkey, when everybody was like, give us turkeys, we need turkeys. Maybe that's the way to get the, uh, to get Africa too. Hold on, guys. 
I gotta log into Twitch on my phone. Trying to earn some drops for Escape from Tarkov. Because right now, if you're watching Tarkov streams, you can earn um, gear in Escape from Tarkov, so... I gotta check to see if I've uh, reached the required amount of watch time to earn a drop. No, 93% there. I'm so close. Alright, well. A little bit more watching it is. Where's the pigs? They're not here. Where'd my feral pigs go, man? Where'd they go, huh? Oh, me too, Johnny. The turkey spam was wild. It was literally just, that's all you saw in the chat for years. It was just turkey? Turkeys? When we getting turkeys? Turkeys, turkeys. It was crazy. I remember that was like the most asked uh, question that I got as well. <laughs> it was just like, everybody was like, hey, would you like to see turkeys? Do you think we'll get turkeys? Are we ever going to get turkeys? Bro, do you think we're going to get turkeys, man? And I was always like, I, I don't know. I hope. Whoa. What the feral pigs? They're just popping in like it's nothing. Africa 2.0? Exactly, duck. We gotta be like that. I need one of you to turn. That'd be lovely. The great one fly. Oh gosh, no, no. Oh, he got away. That pig was way too smart for us. But I think we got him. Okay. Just gonna run away like that? I know I'm shooting you, but stop it. These silly pigs, man. They just run from bullets like it's gonna kill them or something. You got this, Clay Drew. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. I saw that, Carter. The second that, um... The second that Flinter read it off, I was like, no. No, he, I, he didn't. Poor Flinter. I didn't know they got KC as well. <laughs> See, I, I always proofread like everything before I say it on stream. Just in case somebody's trying to trick me. I'm pretty sure I've only been tricked like once my entire time streaming. Maybe twice. Happened to KC 10 minutes ago? Ooh, poor KC. Poor KC, he got trolled. At least it was via donation though, right? If it's gonna happen, at least they're paying to be able to do it. <laughs> Mississippi, no, don't even, don't even jinx it, Nappy. Don't even jinx it, man. That's something they'd do. They would totally do that to us. 
No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see if there's any feral pigs along here. Yeah, I like this one, Justin. This is one of my favorites, I'd say. They'll do Medved 2.0. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. We need like a more, uh, I guess, like modernized snow map. And what I mean by that is they need to make one with their current knowledge and technology, right? Medved was made very early in the game's life. So there's a lot of things that they did back then that they really don't do anymore. And there's some newer uh, elements to the maps that they've been doing recently, like more unique outposts and things like that. I'd like to see them do another snow map. Make it more like uh, White Rhyme Ridge from Classic, though. Maybe, Johnny, maybe. I mean, to be honest, they could totally do a Canada map and have Blacktail on it, so. Just give us a British Columbia map. That's honestly, if they don't give us a, oh, there is pigs here. If they don't give us a map for Africa or Texas or Australia, I'd say British Columbia would be my next option. I do think British Columbia would be a cool map. Silly feral pigs. It would be awesome, Clager. I'd love to see a Canadian map. More? Imagine we just have a five chilling over here or an albino. That's crazy. We have two zones here. How have I been missing these? I love that. That bug is amazing. Get wrecked, little pig. The three little pigs are no longer with us. All right, while we're walking over there, time to check my Tarkov drops once again. I think I, I think I earned one. Ninety-nine percent. Well, almost hit it right on the dot. Guess I gotta wait a couple more minutes. A space map? That, that, that would be something. Definitely be something. The Appalachian Mountains? That would be cool, Flat Pop. Need an Alberta map. Totally not biased. <laughs> hey, that'd be cool, man. Any type of Canada map I'd be happy with, as long as it could have black tail deer. Any Canada map with black tail deer. Maybe like um is there is there doll sheep in parts of Canada? I imagine there probably is. I'd like to see doll sheep on a map. I don't know how we don't have a doll sheep yet. Like, how do we not have doll sheep? Or stone sheep? We need doll sheep and stone sheep on. Uh, it really any map in Call of the Wild. Buffalo, New York map after they get Lake Effect Snow would be a top tier snow map. Be an interesting one. People will be hunting with the Glock quite a bit on that map. I'll tell you that. That would be a Glock hunting type of map. 120. That's a decent four. No! 
<laughs> well, we gotta grab some tents. Where can I snag a tent from? How have we put our limit? Oh, I have tents up here. Feels bad, man. Just got the Ogro Wolf. Nice, right? Or nice? Wait, we better check to see if there's no... Or if there's any pigs here first. I don't think there is. I don't think there would be pigs here. There definitely isn't. And that one got smoked by beavers. Perfect. What caused it? Up oh, this tree. They added a new tree right where my tent was. Why do they do this? Why why do they add random trees? I don't understand it. Maybe it's to nerf overpowered areas because I noticed a lot of the places that I was grinding heavily for whitetail is where they just happen to drop trees. Like a lot of my whitetail, like favorite whitetail grinding zones. There's trees right where they drink now. I wonder if they do it to nerf some of the more overpowered drink zones. They're trying to nerf Scarecrow, man. They're trying to nerf me. There we go, earned my Tarkov drop. Just one male? Guess we just got one male respawn here. That's it. That'd be cool, Ghost. That would be pretty cool. Though I don't think tigers would be allowed in Call of the Wild. From what I understand, it's pretty illegal to hunt them except for for special reasons. I believe the only terms where you're allowed to hunt a tiger is if it's actually causing danger to like a local village or something like that. So I couldn't see them doing that. Could be a mission animal? Yeah, true. You're right, it could be a mission related animal. Yeah, maybe, Sam. That would probably fit more into it. Similar to what they did with like the rhinos and the elephants on Verhanga, where they're like they're they've they've gone extinct or whatever, or they've been pushed out of the reserve or whatever the storyline was. I could see them doing something like that. We're grinding rabbits, or not rabbits. Um, I saw your name and for some reason it made me think rabbits. Uh, we're grinding feral pigs. Trying to get a diamond and an albino. That turkey's always here. I personally don't think it split the community as much as you think, uh, Dark Crotalus. The majority of people don't care how other people play. There's a very small, like... Well, I wouldn't say very small. There's a very vocal part of the community that's against it. 
there's a very vocal part of the community that is for it. And then there's like 70% of the community that doesn't care either way. Most of the Call of the Wild community just play the way they enjoy and don't really worry too much about what others are doing. And that's just, that's just how the majority of people are. That's kind of how I am as well. I don't care how people play the game. If you want to play it with or without it, then go for it. As long as you're not, like, telling me how I should play, then I don't care how you play either. That's kind of been my take on it from the beginning. Play in a way that you enjoy as long as you're not modding. If you're modding, then I, I will not speak to you. We're grinding rabbits, boys? No. No. Yes, not a fan of people that do trading either. Because that is literally like uh, duplicating animals, basically. As long as you're not trading or hacking, then, you know, play how you want. But if you're a cheater, get out of here. Yeah, sounds about right, Thomas. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's just differing, differing viewpoints, uh, Dark Crotalus. Everybody's gonna have their own viewpoints, and I respect everybody's opinion on it, right? Some people think that it's harmed the value of a lot of trophies and then the way I've always seen it is it's made it so less people are cheating I've seen so many people tell me that they realize that they didn't have to mod the game to find cool trophies and then there's been other people that I've seen say like hey I I could never really get good trophies because I don't have a lot of time to play. This has made it so I can get those trophies now that I thought only streamers were able to get. So I've thought, I've always thought that that's been the best part of it. And that's why I've always been for it, is it makes it possible for the people that don't have a lot of time to play. It makes it possible for them to try and get some of the stuff that they've wanted. We get all three of these, maybe? I think we maybe can. It's gonna take some quick shooting. Got one of them. We hit the others, but didn't kill them. Um, I'm not going to go into its sports buff as I don't want to promote it, but it's essentially just cheating in the game. Modding is anything that gives you an advantage that other players do not have the option to get. So like uh, downloading external cheats that make all your animals like uh, not spook or things like that, speed hacks, like all that type of stuff. Very against all of that.
Got a few level fours popping up. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Good to see you. Because I need a diamond and an albino uh, weed or wide. Wait, um, however your name is pronounced. Sorry if I butchered it. But yeah, we're looking for a diamond and an albino. Exactly, Indo. Why mod when you could just get better at the game? And have more fun doing it. I've never understood the point in modding. Especially in a game like Call of the Wild where it's heavily trophy based. You would get bored so fast if you just had everything at your fingertips. Yeah, we don't want to shoot Mr. Farold. We don't want to shoot our pet level one. But he gets to live. Farold gets to live. He will live to fight another day. You know, I've noticed level one pigs are actually somewhat common. We've had three of them spawn and we're not even managing. We're just shooting everything. And we've still managed to get a bunch of ones to spawn. We're going to shoot a few of them because we can't name all of them. We're only going to keep two as pets, I think. Where's our five, man? Feral one and feral two. <laughs> No, I don't think we have a Feral 2. I think we named it something else. I don't remember, though. I think we named him Chris P. Bacon or something like that because somebody suggested that one and I thought it was kind of funny. C -c 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 Come on. There's Chris. I think we hit the female. Man, we did not get as many as I hoped. They run so fast, man. They run so fast. Let's see if any more render in. I think there was another herd that's here. Is it a herd or a pack for pigs? I think it's a herd. Oh, there they are. We need another stand right up here so I don't have to run back down every time. Nice, Travis. Nice. Thank you, Seaman. Uh, yeah, it is Pioneer, it is. It wasn't before, but recently in one of the updates, they made them rare. Mallard up there. I forgot Mallards were on here. I keep forgetting that the Mallards exist on Tiabaroa now. There's another. Wonder if there's any more. I think that we're good. I think that was the last one. Yeah, that was the last pig there. It was crispy bacon. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Come on, man. Where's the diamond? Where's our diamond piggy? Uh, Larry, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Good luck on all your grinds, my friend. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, my dude. And uh, good luck to any type of hunting that you're doing as well. Oh, no worries, Caitlin. No worries. Do what you need to do. Hey, Clay Drew, welcome back.
Nice, Timbo. That's awesome, dude. That's pretty early on to get your first super rare. Your third diamond is your first super rare. That's crazy, man. That is really awesome. Super lucky as well. Wonder how long it's going to take us to get our first diamond. For Moose, it took me a few hundred, I believe. To probably main menu. It's been a while since we have. You need the great one luck? I got you, Clager. You're going to get seven great ones right now. Brother got his super rare albino diamond right here. 600 kills. That is crazy, Kathy. You were unlocking a map when you spotted it. Nice, Timbo. That's really lucky, man. That's so lucky. The odds of, like, getting a super rare while unlocking the map is crazy low. That's insane. Another big four, but no five. Wow, it didn't do that uh, glitch. It didn't uh, get stuck, but it was in the water. That's crazy. Should go down. Where's that four? There's that four. You, sir, are looking mighty fine. Can we get the two? And out of render. Well then. How many kills? I haven't been keeping track of the pig kills. We're probably at around 100 though. Probably approaching 100 at this point. We've shot quite a few of them. Okay, that's the one that isn't one of our pets. So we can shoot that one. Where's the sand? The sand is over here. Uh, I hate that sound. Why does it do that? Why is that bug still a thing? That is lots of playtime and experience in the game, Jonah. I've just played the game an absurd amount of time. Where are they going? I mean, I guess can't complain. They're going where I want them to, kind of. Nice. Got a lot of pigs down this time. Nice, Thomas. Nice. Give you some advice for spawning level three whitetail. I mean, you can try herd management. If you don't want to do herd management, it's really just a matter of shooting lots of bucks until one spawns.
Next vid. Next vid will be tomorrow, Hunting Freak. It was supposed to be today, but I slept in, so I didn't get the editing done. But uh, we will have a video tomorrow, um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a video for those of you that miss the old days of the channel. For those of you that miss when we would just go out into multiplayer and look for trophies and you know just shoot whatever we found. So that's gonna be what tomorrow's video is uh, focused on, and it actually went very well. Not gonna lie, it went really well. I was happy. I was happy with how it turned out. But I won't say anything else. I will not spoil it. But uh, it went pretty well. It was a fun hunt. I was just looking for a diamond and an albino, uh, Swanee. Old Mike coming back? No. No. No old Mike coming back. That'd be terrible. I could try that one time though. Like maybe just change the settings on my mic to make it sound like my old microphone. <laughs> that could be wild. Darkies. And fallow? Um Turkeys and the fallow deer are frolicking together, I see. Dream IRL hunt? My dream IRL hunt would be a New Zealand red deer hunt, but that's probably not going to happen. So I'd say the closest thing I'd get to do would probably be like a Texas red deer hunt on one of the like ranches or something. Because I don't think I'd be able to do a uh, New Zealand hunt for them. But it would be cool. That's a four. Love to see it. We're getting a few fours to spawn at least. No dimes, though. Nice, Timbo. I don't know uh, anything outdoors. Not sure. I haven't really paid too much attention to whether or not the eyes glow. Nice, uh, Giga Spoon. Hopefully, Bram, hopefully. Because typically on a normal grind, you would average a trophy like roughly every 100 kills. And we're about to be past 100 kills, I think. Because we easily killed like 40 in each of the previous two streams. So that's like 80. And then we've easily killed over 20 today. So I think we're past 100 kills. With uh, not even a level 5 troll. No level 5, no rare. And typically a non-HM grind, you average one trophy every hundred kills. Now, given we could go 300 with nothing and then get three of them within 50, and then that would still average out to about a hundred apiece. So most likely that'll happen. That's what Red Deer always did to me. Uh, what'd be quicker, going over the bridge or running this way? Probably this way. Plus, I need to check the rest of this river for pigs. Oh my gosh, I just realized. I think I know why I've been having a headache. I think it's because I didn't drink any caffeine today at all. I'll be right back. I gotta grab a drink. <laughs>
All right, we're back. It's a crow ghost playing it is. What the? What the red deer? Past feral pig time. That explains why they just disappeared. Okay. Silly little red deer. You know what? Actually, and I, there we go. No, Gunslinger, it's an energy drink, actually. But don't worry guys, I don't drink the entire energy uh, drink. I only drink half, because uh, the full thing, that's not healthy. I just drink half to get the uh, caffeine that I need. Uh, no, Felipe, we didn't yet. Nah, duck, it's too early for that. What are you, what are you talking about, man? It's not even 3 p.m. What are these even called? I think these are called like Alani energy. It's like a, it's like a, a sugar-free energy drink. It actually tastes pretty good though. This one is cherry slushy flavored. Pretty fire, not gonna lie. They taste phenomenal. What the? What got smoked? I have no idea what just got smoked. <laughs> do it, Sam. Do it. That actually reminds me. I got a really good cider yesterday, Sam. I got a... Um, it's like a, a tart cherry cider. I forgot the name of the... Um, Oh, actually, no, it's it's called Incline Cider Company. It's an Incline uh, Tart Cherry Cider. Tastes pretty good. Oh, you've had it, Ben? Nice. Yeah, I haven't had that one. I've just had the Cherry Slushy one. I like these cherry slushy ones. I, I never drink the entire thing at once though, because high amounts of caffeine at one time, it's it just does not I, I don't react to it well. It makes my heart race and I don't like that. So I just drink half of it and then I drink the other half like later in the day. That way it's not all at once. Popper, really? There we go. Alright, now we can have these two pig zones. Thank you, Nate. I'm glad you enjoy them. Nice, Thomas. Nothing. Definitely sports buff. That'd be awesome. 
one? Just one pig? Yeah, this must be close. Yeah, there we go. We could probably shoot these before the others render in so they don't spook. And I think that is what we will do. Let's see if we can get the others to render in. Uh, Caden, thank you for the super chat, dude. Great one, Piggy, in the next two runs. Man, if only, if only there was a feral pig great one. I actually think that could be a cool great one. I think I'd like a feral pig more than a wild boar. Thank you for the super chat, though. Really appreciate it, dude. How many hours do I average a week on Call of the Wild? I can tell you right now. Let me go to Steam and I'll see what my uh, playtime is for the last two weeks. Because you can actually see your exact playtime. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's the, oh, my gosh. Let's see. I've played 57 hours of Call of the Wild in the last two weeks. That'd be an average of like what? 27? Actually, this isn't all my playtime because this is just on the main account. This isn't counting the beginner's series playthrough. I spent at least 15 hours on the beginner series as well. So that's like 60, 72 hours in two weeks on Call of the Wild. And this is kind of a low week as well. The first week of the Great One Moose release, I was doing like 12 hours a day. And then like 8 to 10, the uh, like following days after we got our first one. Another four at least. I think it'd be cool to see, man. <laughs> Smoked him. New level three. Nice, Ben. Nice. Oh, and I got an idea. Let, let me try something. I might bind the enter key to one of my mouse buttons. That would make claiming these so much faster. Let me see if I can do that. Because now in Call of the Wild, you can press uh, enter to claim your kill, and it won't, like, sometimes try to tax it like before. Now it actually does only... Um, Blame it so it's much easier to just hit enter to accept your uh, kill. So let's see if I can bind a button to my mouse. Let's see if I can bind one of my mouse keys to be enter. Okay, I think. Let's see if this works. I think this should work.
Let's see if I press my mouse button. Yep, it worked. Let's go. So now I can just press my mouse button. Now I can just press one of the uh, side buttons on my mouse. That is going to speed things up so much. Because now I can literally just go like boom, boom, and I'm already moving. That is, that is amazing. That is so fast. You'll love to see it. What do you mean, Kathy? That's, I didn't rebind my keys in Call of the Wild. Um, in the actual, like, Corsair app for my mouse, every mouse has, like, different software that comes with it to help you, like, change the DPI sensitivity, um, the lighting on it, and also what the buttons do. And I just changed my, um, my back button on the side of my mouse to be Enter, so it essentially acts the same as hitting the Enter key on my keyboard. And so now I can just press that mouse button because it's a lot faster than taking my hand off the mouse to go hit enter. That's what I did. I rebound one of my uh, mouse keys via the Corsair app. We got another level one. <laughs> did I miss that level one? There's our pet. Oh, we got him. He ain't going nowhere. I know, right, Kathy? They're just popping up everywhere. <laughs> it was still alive. Oh, that glitch is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, man. Oh, nice, Sam. That's a good way to do it as well. I remember back on Ark, literally everybody that played Ark in the old days of Ark would have a key bound to like a spam left click, or was it E? Everybody would bind a key to spam like um, to force feed their dinosaurs to heal them super fast. I remember that was like the meta for a long time in PvP. Like everybody had a mouse key bound to uh, spam meat to heal one of the dinos anytime that you'd be in battle. It was crazy. That was uh, that was some crazy times in the lifespan of Ark. Like, there'd be so many times where, like, we'd get so close to taking out somebody's, like, uh, Rex or something, and then all it took was them getting away for a couple seconds, and boom, they full healed their dino. <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of glad that's not a possibility anymore. Kind of glad they put in those cooldown timers in Ark. Not sure, Ryan. Uh, guys, how long have we been streaming? Another four. Beautiful. One hour 38. All right, we got about 20 more minutes of um, pig grinding, and then we'll jump to the moose grind.
What's my favorite trophy? No clue, man. Uh, there's so many trophies I like. I would have to say it's probably... There's a couple of great one whitetail I have that are like super unique looking. I like those a lot. And then I also like... Um, I like my melanistic pheasant a lot. It's not a super rare or anything crazy like that, but it looks so beautiful and they're so hard to find that it's a, just always been one of my favorites. I feel like my answer changes every time when somebody asks me uh, what my favorite trophy is because there's just so many that are good. Floating rock tier list. <laughs> We gonna make a tier list of those rocks that float, I tell you. Like in a specific grind, uh, Sigurd? I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about it in a specific grind. There is no way to check, like, specific grind or specific animal kill counts. Uh, it's all a matter of just keeping track of it yourself. If you want to see your total kills, you can check your codex. Got him. He did. Okay, this turkey, he flies across every single time. One of these days we'll get him. I actually need to buy 22 ammo, I just realized. To get a diamond and an albino, Mr. Cookie. Why aren't I using the truncated ammo? Because it kills slower, Pioneer. Truncated ammo takes longer to kill stuff like turkeys and, and ducks and stuff. It has more penetration, but it's not worth it on a class 1 animal. Because with class 1 animals, you don't have to hit vitals anyway, so I'd rather go with the ammo that kills quicker. Uh, no, I haven't got a great one, Black Bear. Well, yeah, but it's not about, uh, being able to kill a fallow deer quickly, the Pioneer. I, I have no reason to shoot a fallow deer with a 22. The only thing I use 22 for is class 1 animals and the 22 trick. And class 1 animals, they die quicker to the, um, hollow points. Because with class 1 animals, you just have to hit them. It doesn't have to be vitals. It just needs to hit them. And so the uh, hollow points are usually a better option for the 22. Because it will kill them much quicker. Why is this herd not showing up, man? This herd has not been showing up. We'll have to check it later. It seems like it, Thomas. To be honest, I have more trolls than I do diamonds for moose. I have been trolled so many times, this, uh, this grind. The moose just don't like me, man. Alright, I don't think we'll claim that one. It's just one of them and it's a level three, so it is what it is. Yep, theme song for the win. There's got to be more than one male, right? Is it really just one? Wow.
Uh, this is live. Got an albino grizzly. Nice, Julian. Nice. Uh, yeah, Dylan, they are. Welcome back, Clay Drew. Welcome back. Oh no, John. Oh no. Feels bad, man. We haven't checked this zone in a bit. Also, I think there's another zone that can be in this area, so we are going to check one more spot. Because there's a spot I used to always have a pig zone over here. What type of goats, uh, Brubra? Are you talking about feral goats or mountain goats? Because the, the gun will be different for either of them. For feral goats, you want to use the 243 or the Mosin. For the mountain goats, I would recommend the 308 or the M1. Nice, Jesse. That's awesome. Mountain Goat? Yeah, I would recommend the uh, M1 or the 308 then for Mountain Goats. <gasps> hey! Let's go! Level 5 Pig! Woo! Finally! Let's go, guys! It's about time! Three days of grinding. About two to three hours of grinding each day. Probably about 130 pigs. And we got a five, finally. We got a five. I swear to God, if it trolls, I'm going to be so sad. I've had like six trolls over the years that Tiabaro has been released. Let's not make this another one. You better make diamond. It better make diamond. My gosh. Well, I'm glad we checked this zone. We haven't checked this one today, so that's a nice surprise. Oh, finally. Um, I think it's one of the fur types that I like as well. I think that's the uh, brown. Yep, yeah, pretty much, Mason. I am all too familiar with the amount they troll. This one's got a 141 estimate, so it definitely could. But we're going to hope it doesn't. Wind is kind of bad. About 200 away. All right, let's move slow. About 160 away. We got this, I believe. Here we go. Let's remove the waypoint. And let's get this guy down. He's down. Level 5 piggy on the ground. Oh my gosh. Let's go. 
It's about time that we got ourselves a level 5 pig to spawn. Please make diamond. I'm gonna be so sad if it doesn't make diamond. Hey, don't don't jinx me, guys. Don't you dare jinx me with a troll. Better not be a troll. We want it to be a diamond. We need the diamond. Random pig over there? Okay. Please don't troll. I will be so sad if it does. It's a diamond! Let's go! Oh my gosh, it barely made it. We finally have ended a like two year curse of getting troll feral pigs. Oh my gosh, it made it. Diamond feral pig, guys. Diamond feral pig. Let's go. That is so awesome. Let's inspect this bad boy. Look at that crazy looking pig. That is awesome. We finally got a diamond one. Oh, man. All that for some big teeth? I know right into. All the trouble that these pigs have gave me over the years. And they really don't even look that different from the level ones. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. It's still a diamond. I'm so happy to finally have one. So, so insanely happy. Got a nice little hard shot in there as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, feels nice to finally have a diamond pig. Well, I guess it's time for the moose. Let's get that moose grind going. Let's go to good old Medved Taiga and continue the moose grind. Oh no, Clay Drew, no! <laughs> well, it made it, man. It made it. Yeah, we do need the albino still. We'll probably grind for the albino next stream, though. We'll, we'll end the pig part on a high note. Oh, and also, guys, I moved a bunch of stuff around. Um, we have a tent over here again because I found three shootables. Like, an entire herd moved over here somehow. Um, I also moved a tent back up here because I've got a level 5 in this zone. We're stacking uh, moose once again because... When all those moose randomly started respawning in my main zones, it almost like undid everything that we had done. We also have shootables here again. So I had to move a tent there. We have had to move so many tents around. So this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting grind trying to get everything back in order. Yeah, pretty much, Kathy. We only ended a few minutes short. We put in most of the uh, time that we needed to. What the links? Oh, you silly links. What the? Oh, she's attacking him. Oh my gosh, she's attacking him. What is going on? Th there's two of them that are aggressive. They're trying to beat up the links. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> She is mad at that lynx. Gonna get him? That one ran. Oh, there was two lynx. That is awesome. She's chasing down the lynx. Okay, now she's leaving. That was amazing. That was hilarious. That's a sight you don't see every day? I know, right, Brem? That's crazy. I think we need to swap out our 308 as well. We need to get the other 300. I believe we had a five here. Yes, yeah, so this is one of the fives. 
I don't think there's anything else there. This is new. It's definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. I'll give it that. That was a very uh, daring moose going after that lynx like that. I mean, I don't know if I'd chase after a lynx if I was a big old moose, but hey, got to give credit where credit's due. That's a tough moose. Uh, let's see. Where do I have a couple shootables? I think I have some here. Yeah, we got two there. Moose are brick walls on stilts. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, Sam. They literally are. Moose are rude. <laughs> we actually got the hard shot. Wow. I did not expect us to hit that hard shot. Hey, Deer Hunter, it's going good, man. Now we should have a five over here as well. He's not there at the moment, but... This zone has a five in it as well. For those that are just joining in, we, we have to stack our... um. What's it called? We got to stack our moose once again. We got to stack the diamonds again because when we randomly got a bunch of respawns to show up out of nowhere, it threw off the balance like crazy. So we're having to try and get more twos on the map once again. What's my biggest diamond moose? Um, let's see. On the current scoring for them, it's 300.70 something, I believe. Uh, Sam, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Hope you've been doing good. My grandson is insisting I watch. This, he is always talking about how you know everything about the game he plays, and he showed me his house on the computer with all his animals, and showed me his gold. Nice! That's awesome, man. That is awesome. That's, uh, it's really cool to hear that he's that excited about, uh, about watching the content I make. That's really cool. There we go. I would really appreciate it, Becky and uh, Max, if you guys didn't uh, ask about other people's streams and my stream. It's a general rule of thumb in pretty much every content creator's streams to not really talk about other creators as it does, uh, it is taking the focus off of the person you're watching, right? So, I would appreciate if you guys wouldn't ask about me in other people's streams, and we kind of, all creators pretty much do the same thing. We try to keep that to a minimum. Because I'm sure that you guys can find out that information via, like, uh, her Discord or something like that. Uh, keep level four and below, GTA player. Fours and below.
What's my favorite great one and great one skin? I like the great one moose the most and I'd say the fabled birch is probably my favorite looking one. Whitetail are a close second for favorite great one though. They are really nice. And I, to be honest, I think if the whitetail had special fur variations, it would probably still be my favorite. Okay, nothing new there. Exactly, Clay Drew, exactly. Community tab, Discord, servers, like those are usually your best options for finding information about when somebody's going live. Unless it's me, because I never know when I'm going to go live until I go live. <laughs> I try to go live at the same time every day, but it really doesn't ever end up being the same time. That's the dad life for you, though. It's unpredictable. I think like five brim. I don't have a ton. I just started stacking them up uh, yesterday or the day before. One of the two. Uh, let's go check here. Not every day, Becky, but most days. I, I try to... My schedule has always been like five days a week at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or at least for the last like six or seven months it has. And I try to stick to that, but there's some days where it's supposed to be an off day that I feel like streaming anyway, like yesterday. And so technically, I have it set to where I do five days of streaming a week, but there's sometimes where I do six or seven days instead. Hey, Tragic, how's it going? We got our Diamond Feral Pig finally, man. We finally got the Diamond Feral Pig. Just barely made it, but we got it. Yeah, EFT was having some issues yesterday, KD. I went ahead and ordered some more RAM, though, so I should have less issues once that arrives. It's crazy to think that, like, I, I have 32 gigs of RAM in my rig right now. And it's not enough to stream Tarkov for me. Tarkov, there's some type of memory leak that's going on there. And it's making it so I run out of uh, memory super quick and I have no idea how to... There's really nothing I can do to fix it from the research that I've done. So I ended up just ordering more RAM. That way, I'll at least be able to stream it. And plus, as a content creator, uh, having more RAM is nothing but beneficial. As it'll make, uh, make streaming smoother. Uh, no, Hunter Bros. I don't always do the moose grind. We've been grinding feral pigs uh, as well. And then I also do non-grind gameplay as well. We've just been doing a lot of moose grinding recently because of the addition of the moose great one. What do I recommend for a starting gun? Um, if you don't have any DLCs, I'd try to get the seven mil. If you do want to get DLCs, I would say go for the modern rifle pack so that you can get the 308. Oh! <laughs> uh. Uh. Good job, Call of the Wild. Amazing. Doing great. <laughs> oh, what was that? What just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. 
That right there was amazing, man. You see something new every day? Indeed. You definitely do. You never know what you're going to see in a Scarecrow stream. If I got to decide what great one it would be, Brem, I would choose a Blacktail Deer. Because I feel like the, the Blacktail Deer are very underappreciated in Call of the Wild. Underappreciated and underloved. Because unfortunately, uh, the true racks for them, they just did not do justice to the level 4s and 5s. Like, the 5, it's got weird time configuration that isn't realistic to Blacktail Deer. Blacktail Deer should look like a smaller version of a Mule Deer. And I don't know what's up with that level 5 Blacktail. It does not look like a real Blacktail at all. And same with the level 4s. The tines are too short on a lot of those level 4s. Like, the shape of the antlers is good for the 4s, but the tines are too short. And so I'd like to see them get a great one so that we have a good-looking blacktail deer to chase after. One that actually looks like a real blacktail. That's what I would love to see. Well, I think the next grind will probably be Havelina Tragic. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a Havelina grind. Because I don't have a Havelina diamond, and I'd like to get one. And for those that are not familiar with that, it's a collared peccary. Collared peccary or, or and javelina are the same thing. Ooh, I'd go with ramen, Sam. Ramen sounding good. I've actually got some ramen as well. Should probably have some of that. You you made me want ramen, Sam. Uh, yeah, Dylan, I did. I actually just congratulated him earlier today when he was streaming. That's, uh, super awesome to see. I had a feeling it would happen eventually. What's the word? Uh, like Kyla and Flinter, they've always been like two peas in a pod, you know? It was just a matter of time before they got engaged. I could see that like the second that they got together that it was gonna that it was gonna last. Maybe Indo, it's hard to say. Again, like I can't really judge the what an animal's gonna score if I can't see the rack, so I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I guess we'll see. Guess you'll have to see if it makes it. We had another shootable end up there. Uh, let's go check this area. Uh, yeah, Kathy, they actually did. If I'm not mistaken, I believe. I believe so. Yeah, Sam, they, uh, they ended up getting engaged very recently. Blinter made a, uh, post about it on, uh, YouTube. I believe this zone over here is where we've got one of our fives. Believe it or not, Tucker, ads are how content creators make their living. Without ads, we wouldn't be able to make content consistently like we do. Okay, no, it's a diamond potential four. That's what it is. I don't know if that one's going to make it, but it's big enough to where it's worth stacking, so we'll leave it. Yeah, believe it or not, without the ads, I would not be able to make content every day. 
because then I'd be working a different job. And so I'd probably only be able to make a couple videos a week. The ads make it possible for me to do this daily. I promise they're not they're not just there to annoy you. I promise. And I also purposely try to avoid putting them into places that are inconvenient. I try to be very limited with the ads I run. A lot of people do them midstream. I choose not to because I don't think it's uh I don't want people to miss anything in the stream. So I don't do ads during my stream, but a lot of people do. Uh, same with videos. I try to never put more than like two ads in a video. A lot of content creators will put like three or four ads like right in the middle of the video. I try to do maximum of two. And then of course there's the one at the beginning and end. But I try not to put in as many as what a lot of people do. Oh yeah, true Sam. That is a good time to do it whenever I take a, a quick restroom break. That is, that is a good time to do it. I never have to worry about ads because I've got YouTube Premium, but still. Highly recommend YouTube Premium, by the way. It's really good. 100% worth it, in my opinion. Being able to not have ads, being able to keep your video running in the background of your phone, being able to keep it running with the screen off, like, it's, it's so helpful. Love it. It is, Ben. It's great. And you're also able to download uh, YouTube videos to watch offline. It is a lifesaver. Is your name Camo or is it Spammo? Because I'm seeing a lot of spam right now. Whoa, going on two wheels here. Uh, no, Luke, that's not really how it works. Um, females don't respawn as males. Males don't respawn as females. If you shoot a female, it'll respawn as a female. Where have we not checked? Uh, let's see. We could check down here to see if a straggler has made it there. We haven't gone to these lakes either. Uh, we'll go here first though. There's a three. There's our big five. Hey, I didn't say you could go behind her. Gosh, silly moose, man. Why? Why is he just, he's just sitting behind her. It's like he knows I'm trying to shoot him or something. You know what? We'll attempt it. Oh, we did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we did it. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh my. Insane. He is, Sam, like, gosh, what a rude moose.
Beautiful. You love to see it. You know what else I'd love to see? A great one with a special fur type. But we're not going to see that. <laughs> Knowing my luck, we're going to get a common quad paddle. Are you guys ready for the disappointment of the common quad paddle that we're probably going to end up finding again? Knowing my luck, we're going to get a common quad paddle once again. I won't mind it being a uh, quad paddle if it's got one of the cool fur types, but if it's another common one, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have to have a talk with Call of the Wild. Ask it why it's uh, being rude. You know? Oh. Right as I was about to say it. There's one right there. I was going to say, I'm starting to think maybe we've got enough of the twos back. Because I'm not seeing many shootables here at any of the lakes. And then boom, right there, a four. <laughs> four pops out of nowhere. I mean, there's there's no rules on whose stream you watch, Jeremy. You can watch anybody's streams. I appreciate you watching mine, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you you have to watch mine instead of somebody else's. Plus, Kill Clinton's a good friend of mine. I'm not gonna be mad if you're watching KC's streams. CG, thank you for the membership, dude. 19 months as a member. That is crazy. 19 months, CG. Hope you're doing good, by the way. And Sam, coming in with the 21 months. My gosh, y'all are going wild. 19 months, 21 months. The OGs are in the building. Uh, yeah, Nathan, I know who he is. They just furless? All my great ones are furless, James. All of my great ones have the common fur type. Feels bad. Have a piebald red deer on my map? Nice, dude. That's awesome. Do you do Twitch too? I don't do Twitch, man. Just YouTube for now. Maybe one of these days we'll hop back into Twitch, but... Not right now. Thank you, Lane. I mean, I wouldn't say so, N9. I'm still happy with them, just, uh, unfortunate we haven't got any of the, uh, special fur types when they seem relatively common. I mean, it's not like I'm short on great ones. We've got over 20 at this point. It's, it's a matter of finding the exact one that I want. When you essentially grind great ones for a living, it's not a matter of just looking for a great one. It's a matter of looking for a specific great one, and that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for a specific uh, combination. Uh, yeah, Tucker, I do. Ooh, that's rough, Beaver. That's rough. Yeah, those, um... Oh, I went to the wrong one. That's the one we need to go to. What was I going to say? Those uh, coyote missions on Leighton are terrible. They are so tough to do. Yeah, definitely, bruh, bruh. Definitely. I really just want to get a fabled birch with the uh, typical rack. That is my dream great one moose. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. I don't know if we'll get it, but 
That'd be so cool. What's my favorite move spot? My favorite move spot is the entire map because they move all the time. There's really no favorite move spot for me. Because they're literally everywhere. And they're so inconsistent. You shoot them at one lake, they show up at a different one next time. Got a little two there. Any solos? Solo female. Yeah, still nothing here. You know, to be honest, I might be able to remove the, uh... I might be able to remove the tent from here. This lake hasn't had anything good in a while. We need to go check here, though. I had a few respawns go there. There's actually a five at this lake as well. Um, yeah, Tater, I did. I played it, uh, when it first came out years ago, but I haven't played it since. I haven't played the, like, new version of it. Because I know they, like, remastered Survival of the Fittest recently, right? They completely redid it. I haven't played it since then, but I played it back when it was first released. It was pretty fun back then, so I imagine it's probably fun now. There's a certain way you should set up your tents. Ah, uh, not really. When it comes to tent placement, it's all going to be dependent on where your zones are. So everybody's map's going to be a bit different in the placement of zones, which means your tents will need to be placed different depending on uh, where they're located for you. You have a very complicated ramen recipe? Let me guess, Sam, it's... Uh, you put the water in the pot... You put the ramen in the water, and then you put the seasoning packet in the water, and then boom, ramen. Or are you going for the more like a fancy ramen? Little four over there. Is that a three we need to kill? I don't remember. I think that one's basically a two. Do it again. Again, she got right in front of him. What handgun is that? That's the 22 LR handgun. I believe it's from Weapon Pack 3, if I'm not mistaken. Either Weapon Pack 2 or Weapon Pack 3. One of those. There is that 5 there. I know, right, Turkey? Crazy, am I right? All right, let's go check this lake. It's garlic salt, regular salt, a touch of chili powder while the water boils, then throw the ramen in, splash of Japanese barbecue sauce, and it's done throwing more Japanese barbecue sauce. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot more advanced than the ramen that I typically make. <laughs> sounds good, though, man. That sounds real good. It sounds quite tasty. But do say so myself. What are these moose over here doing?
This close zone of moose never shows up. Sriracha as well? Jeez, Sam. That's crazy. Okay, a few more showed up this time. Maybe this closed zone will be here. Tent's far enough away, so they shouldn't have any problems with rendering in. That three is basically a two. Okay, I don't think there's anything there. To be honest, I think we've got enough threes and twos. I think most of them have turned down to the uh, small threes or the twos already. We might uh, kill off all the fives. And I've only been sacking for like maybe a hundred kills. I think we're already good enough to where we don't need to. Oh yeah, Ben, it's a good one. It's a good one. Very funky sounding. Yeah, I'm not a fan of hot Cheetos either, Sam. Same with Takis, I'm not a fan of them either. But there's so many people that love them. I know there was one more here. Or did we kill both of them? We might have killed both of them. Oh. Hey, buddy. How did I not see him sooner? No, Johnny, you're at 16%. Ooh. Feels bad. Feels bad, Johnny. I don't even know, N9. I don't even know. I haven't really, um, ever paid attention. I mean, I know I've tracked a couple trophies for over two kilometers. But I can't think of, like, exactly the exact distance. Oh yeah, Doritos are great. Doritos are amazing. One of my favorite uh, chips of all time is the uh, spicy sweet chili Doritos. Those things are just phenomenal. Like they are some next level amazing. And then I also really liked the poppin' jalapeno Doritos, but they stopped carrying them literally everywhere. Like I, I feel like they discontinued them. I loved them though. It, they tasted just like that nacho cheese, like the liquid nacho cheese. With a little hint of like jalapeno. Oh, they were so good. I'm so sad they don't make them anymore. At least as far as uh as far as I can tell, they don't make them anymore. Like I said, I haven't seen them in ages. And the last time I did see them, they were at like a they were like at a gas station in those smaller bags. I feel like they only make them in the smaller bags nowadays. Ah, actually, I don't need to check the crater. The crater is the one place where every time we've checked it, there has not been any respawns there. So I think we can not worry about it. Honestly, let's go blast all the fives. I actually think we're good already. <laughs> That's up to you, Jackson. If you want to, go for it. If not, then you don't have to.
Let's see how many of these uh, big fours and fives end up making it. Could be dusky, it could be. What well, great one would I like to see next? Uh, Blacktail Deer TV. Would love to see a Blacktail Deer great one. Spawn Deer great one moose yesterday. Nice, man. Didn't make it. Kind of figured. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Feels bad. We got rude moose here. Fallow would be cool. I feel like Fallow's more likely than Blacktail. Fallow and Fox seem to be the most likely options for the next great one. Based on previous community feedback and the rework to the Fox. Every species that has got a great one recently, they did a rework first. And they did a rework to Fox this update, so... Chance it could be Fox. And then the reason that I think Fallow is because it's been a very highly requested, um, great one to get. So I think it's either going to be a red fox or fallow deer, but I would much prefer it to be a black tail or a mule deer. Or like a cape buffalo. That'd be cool as well. Yeah, I don't want it to be Fox. I definitely don't want it to be Fox because they would suck to hunt. It would it would literally be the entire grind would just... What the? What spooked him? Wait, is it spooked? What is he doing? He's alert and doing that. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. That was interesting. To say the least. What the? It was only him, too. The others didn't do that. He's coming back. Wow, what is happening? Call of the Wild, what are you doing? Call of the Wild's having problems. That's only 340 and I aimed above the heart and it didn't even hit him. What just happened there? <laughs> that was the weirdest chain of events. I don't even have words for what just happened there. That was the strangest thing I've witnessed all day. My gosh. <laughs> Moose are weird, Johnny. They are. They're very strange. Especially this update. It's a diamond. Let's go. That is one diamond on the day. The first one to make diamond. Not tax worthy though. We've got a we've killed a bunch of that rack. I would recommend watching the guide that I've got on it, Index. If one of the moderators could bring the guide up, that'd be amazing. That would be quite amazing. I already did uh, add it to the counter. It's already on there.
Turkey great one. <laughs> uh, maybe. I mean, if they're gonna, if they were to do a bird at any point, it would have to be something like a turkey. Because I don't think they could get away with doing any other bird as a great one and have people actually care about it. Turkey would be the one where I could see at least part of the community being excited for it. But like if they did a duck or something like that, I don't feel like it would be very well received. Turkey with antlers? <laughs> I don't think so, no. TK getting PTSD from turkey requests? Uh, would not be surprised, man. Jackalope great one that could be interesting a little more of like a, a Little more like of a what's what's it called like a mythical type of thing Kind of like same along the same lines of like a Bigfoot great one, right? That'd be kind of cool. Imagine a Bigfoot great one Where it can spawn from anything that you kill but you'll never know when it spawns until you find it because it just roams around the map or something like that. <laughs> Imagine a Bigfoot great one where you had to just kill any animals. There's a small chance a Bigfoot will spawn on your map and it just walks around the map. And so it'd be so like lucky to even find it. And it wouldn't like have any zones or anything like that. I think that'd be cool. I think we hit low. No, we just missed the heart. We got it. Shouldn't be anything over here. Yep, we're good to go. Okay. Where's the other herd? There should be another herd over there. Recipe for a nightmare? Yeah. It'd be cool though. That is wild, Squirrel. I did not know that was an actual law. To be fair, though, there's a lot of uh, really strange and obscure laws that nobody even knows exist because they're never enforced. Believe it or not, I believe in Pennsylvania it's illegal to sing in the shower. Like, no joke, that's actually a thing. <laughs> I believe it's uh, Pennsylvania where that's a thing. But obviously nothing like that's ever going to get enforced because it's just silly. But I know for a fact there is a uh, state that does that and I think it's Pennsylvania. Believe it or not, there is a lot of like tiny laws like that that nobody knows about because they're just so strange and because they're so strange they never get uh, enforced by anyone. Yeah, probably tragic. Probably. <laughs> okay. Three. Miss the heart. Oh, what did we hit there? Did we just get a neck shot? We might have. Really, Giga Spoon? That's that's wild. That's a wild one. That's a crazy law. Oh, really, Flat Pop? Jeez.
Is that a real thing, David? That's crazy. It is sock. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, like, like I was saying, there's some weird ones. <laughs> yeah, Sam. Oh man. No, King. It doesn't. So there's a very common misconception with what stacking is for. It doesn't spawn your great one. The only purpose of stacking diamonds is to get lower levels on your map faster. And then when you kill off all those diamonds, um, most of the time because you've been able to get all those low levels on the map, your respawns will generally be bigger. The stacking is just to get those low levels quicker. That's the only purpose. Having diamonds on your map won't make more diamonds spawn. Having great ones on your map won't make great ones spawn quicker. At least there's no proof that that works, right? I, mean, I suppose it could be possible, but there's no, like, solid evidence. There's only the experiences from a few super hardcore grinders. But that's not enough to make a final decision on whether or not it actually has an effect. That's an interesting one, Zachary. That's an interesting law. Alright, there's this five. I think this one's got a decent chance of making it. So hard to tell with the moose, though. I never know. Oh, I do, Matthew. It's not a top five for me, but it's probably like my sixth or seventh most wanted great one. Really, Caitlin? Oh my gosh, that's wild. I didn't know that was... That's a, that's a weird one. <laughs> In PA, you can use your mouth to catch fish, but not your hands. That is... <laughs> that is something else. 287, that's a big diamond. That's a big boy right there. I actually don't think I've taxidermized one of this rack, so we are going to tax this one. I don't think I've got one. I don't think I've ever taxed one of these, so... There we go. And I just took a screenshot and it froze the game. Oh, there we go. It's back. We got one more five over here. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin. That makes sense. That makes sense. I wonder if anybody has ever mastered catching fish with their mouth just so that they could get around that law. <laughs> that would be that'd be hilarious if somebody managed to like master that. There's that five that we're taking down. This guy I know will make it because that rack is pretty much guaranteed. Oh yeah, added to the counter. Boom. There we go. Number 39. This should be diamond number 40. And this is probably my favorite one of all of them. This one looks really nice. Love this rack. Oh, what the? Random. Oh, what the? There's two. Where did you guys come from? Where did they come from, man? I didn't know we had two more shootables there. I thought they were solos when I killed them here last. But I guess they were from a herd. Well, let's hope they die. It's just a small looking. It is, Johnny, but it's really wide. I think that's why it scores so high. I think it's because the palm width is crazy.
Yeah, I think the moose are kind of like, uh, the diamond moose are a bit strange because of the way moose are scored in the game. There's definitely a lot of diamond moose that score higher than other diamond moose that look smaller. Like this guy, he doesn't look like he'd be a big one. But, uh, 283. Love this rack. I think we've got one that scores higher though, so we won't uh, tax this guy, but that is indeed diamond number 40 for the moose grind. Isn't that insane? I've had 40 diamond moose in 2,400 kills for moose. That is very low numbers for herd management compared to red deer and white tail. Crazy the difference. The difference is just wild. That just shows how tough moose are. Even if you're managing, you're not going to get a ton of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, Necron. <laughs> imagine, imagine that being a story that arises one day. First time Moose was a level 4, 283. Not bad, Mangoes. Not bad. That's definitely pretty nice for a level 4. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not where... We don't normally get a respawn right there. Hmm, not good. That's random. Where's the other herd? That other herd's just disappeared. I never see it here anymore. My moose have been so weird. I just don't even know. These moose are so strange. I don't get it. There we go. Had to take a sip of water real quick. Wyatt, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Alright, let's take a normal run through all those places that we just shot those fives and see what we got back. Uh, not sure, nice man, not sure. Level four. Alright, later, Johnny. <sighs> um... About 180 to 220, Luke. Between 180 and 220 meters. No, Tucker, it can spawn off of anything. You can get a great one to spawn off of any moose. Uh, yeah, it was, Sam. I, I pushed the mic away when I sneezed, so I, I wasn't actually sure if it caught on the mic. I imagine it probably sounded pretty muffled, though. <laughs>
It was muffled, but you heard it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, Marcus, we got our diamond pig. We finally got our diamond pig. It barely made it, though. It was like 0.12 over diamond. Or something crazy low like that. Okay, I actually don't expect this one to come back. This zone has been a weird one, where I think what happens is it gets a random solo every once in a while. Uh, QT Avery, how, how am I supposed to know if, uh... How is anybody supposed to know if I saw your last message? I reply to so many messages every stream. I don't even remember which ones I respond to. Will the tree block us? No! For once! Explain how that works. We, uh, we can shoot through the little offshoot of that tree, but then sometimes you shoot a couple inches off of a tree and it blocks your shot. How does that work? Call the wild logic at its finest. What is my favorite map? Uh, the one that gets you to stop spamming. Whatever map that would be, that, that'd be my favorite. I do like myself some spam free maps. Pride spam. <laughs> I have no idea. Yep, that's what I'm thinking too. It's like, how does this happen? How can I make that shot, but like some of the trees block my shot when I'm aiming completely away from where the tree is? Level three, where's the other herd? There we go. That's a thick looking four. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. All right, so let's see. How many consistent shootables do we get every run? We have one there, two, three, four, and then there's usually a fifth there. Six, seven, sometimes eight, nine, 10, and 11, 12. 13 is usually around there. So we've got between like, I'd say 10 to 15, it's gonna vary per run since moves move so much, but I think we're gonna be getting around 10 to 15 every run now. And honestly, that's good. That's a good, uh, good sweet, we sweet spot to be in. That English is tough. It's a good sweet spot to have. It's a good area to be in for the moose. Reloading might help. Ow. How are you not alerted? There we go. Nice. Got both of them. Ah, uh, not today, KD. Not today. I've already got a little bit of a headache. I don't need to add to it. <laughs> Plus, it's my wife's birthday tomorrow, so we'll probably drink some wine and stuff then. I mean, I'm gonna hold off today. We'll see, trash tuber, I believe. Thanks, Chance. I'm glad you like it.
<laughs> sure, tragic. <laughs> I, I believe bags would be legal here, Orbog. I, I'd I'd hope so. We use uh plastic bags and paper bags and like uh, reusable bags and Ziploc bags and uh, lots of different bags. I think they're legal. Hey, there you are. Silly moose. Don't be a silly goose. Thank you, Lane. I'm glad you enjoy the streams, dude. Glad you enjoy them. What kind of rifle is this? The 300 Magnum, Jamal. Yeah, that's what he meant. Exactly. That's what he meant. That's what we're going to go with. Oh, I will for sure, Matthew. I will for sure. Come on, mooseys. Show up at your zone. Do it for Crow. Be consistent. Come on. All right, we might need to main menu. It's been a bit since we did. I uh, know, Charles, you didn't. We got a couple diamonds, but that's been about it. Uh, yeah, Lane, I'd say it's my favorite moose map. Very good map for moose. Oh, it just makes the spooked animals not be spooked anymore, Luke. And if they're being stubborn and not going to their zone, sometimes it will help them get to their zone. How many hours do I have in this game? Uh, between my main account and my, like, a uh, challenge account, my beginner series account and stuff like that, I've got over 5,000 combined hours. Where's that herd man? What the? That's a big three. Where is he from? Is this a new solo? Is that a new solo moose? I can't tell. Or is... Maybe he's just late to his own? No. No, he's totally drinking right there. What? Okay, then. That's not what I expected to see. He's over here. Interesting spot for a respawn. I've never had a respawn go there. All right. So before we check out that guy, I got to check out this zone because pulling out the ATV will spook anything at this lake. So I got to hunt these two lakes first and then we'll come back and claim that four. That's a big four though. I mean, look at him. That's a big four. Yeah, could be diamond. Could be. Got a cow there. Got a nice bull moose right there. Another cow, another cow. Cow. Got so many cows I could start a farm. And another one. Might as well keep adding to it. All right, let's go check this lower lake. My biggest moose yet? Uh, a little bit over 300. 
Could be one over here. Nope, no more uh, bull moose. Maybe flat pop. It'll probably be around there. Hey, don't you dare go aggressive. Hey, I said don't. Get out of here. Oh, two of them. No. Does it sting? It should. But it feels like a bee. <laughs> the persistent mesesis. They are so persistent. <laughs> it's just hilarious to watch this. You'd think that they would run after this, like, but they don't. They just take it. They just sit there and tank it. I mean, I'd say that's an ethical kill. This seems like a pretty ethical kill here. What do I use to edit videos and make thumbnails? Uh, for video editing, I use Filmora 12, and for um, thumbnails, I use Photoshop. Stupid moose. <laughs> Spawns as an albino, I would not doubt that one bit. It totally will, 100%. Yeah, sounds about right, Mangoes. Of course. Of course, there's a big four at this lake now. One of the solos that bounces between lakes. I got a feeling our great one is going to end up at one of these lakes I don't check too often. And it'll probably just sit on our map for like... A week before we find it. And he'll be a common quad paddle, probably, Necron. Uh, I hope we don't get another common quad paddle. I don't need three of them. I didn't need two common quad paddles. I certainly don't need three. <laughs> it, I'll be happy with a quad paddle if it has a, a special fur on it. Like if it's a if it's like a, a fabled birch quad paddle, then okay, that's pretty cool. But if it's a common quad paddle again, mm, mm, no, no. <laughs> Especially since this has been the longest moose grind yet. We're over a thousand kills for this one. All right, let me check my progress on the uh, Tarkov drops. 82%. Okay, we're almost there. The helicopter head? <laughs> Why? Because he got so many blades? <laughs> I 
Unfortunate, Blakester. Just keep going, man. You'll get it. You will get it eventually. Will he make it? Yeah, that, that one's gonna make it. That's a diamond rack. No, it's not. This is the one that looks like the diamond rack, but it's slightly too small. Never mind. I take back what I said. He's, uh, he's not gonna make it. That's what I said, right? Um, no, Jeremy, we don't. I actually played, uh, PUBG with KC about a week ago, but it was off stream. We'll probably do a, a couple streams of it at some point. Right now, we're deep into the Tarkov wipe, though, so we're going to be doing mainly Tarkov um, in the near future. Also, guys, I, I got to say, thank you all for uh, coming out to the Tarkov stream yesterday. We hit the highest viewer count I've ever hit on a non-hunting or fishing game. We almost broke 100 viewers watching Tarkov. That's That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Never have I ever seen more than like 60 or 70 people watching one of the non Call of the Wild streams. Or I guess non hunting streams. Like we almost broke 100 playing Tarkov. That's crazy. Okay, so neither of these died when we shot them earlier. Oh no. Well, one of them is going to go down now. It was a fun one, Flat Pop. It was a fun one. I ordered some more RAM for my PC, so I should be able to stream it without it crashing every hour <laughs> very soon. I should be able to very soon. The RAM is supposed to get delivered tomorrow, so once I install that, hopefully Tarkov won't drain my PC of all of its memory. I don't know what's up with the memory leaking issue I've got on Tarkov. It doesn't happen with any other game. It's only Tarkov that does it, and after doing research, it seems like there's a decent bit of people that get the same issue with it. And nobody knows the reasoning. Nobody knows why it happens. No, RAM like a memory for my PC, uh, Chandler. RAM is like the, uh, the memory for your computer. It's not a matter of numbers, uh, Pog. It's just a matter of stacking them until you have enough level 4s and below. That's when you kill them off. Is once you have over 70% of your um, red deer as level 4s or lower. So it's not a matter of like a number of stacked ones. It's a matter of getting the amount of 4s and below that you want. Oh, got you, Chandler. That makes sense. I wasn't sure. It's hard to tell over like uh, over like chat messages, right? I can't see like the uh, emotion or intention behind it, so it could be easy to misinterpret. Uh, no, Matthew, we don't know. They have not talked about it at all. Where'd that respawn go? We killed an extra male here last run. Don't know where he went, though. Right there. That's where he went. Ooh, missed the heart. In fact, we might have fully missed vitals. Ooh, he's not going to die anytime soon. Let's go check out this lake here. See what we got. Nice, David. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. Nice, Ben. Ah, 
Uh, no, Tyler, why would I? Why does it matter if you hit the heart? Because then I don't have to track it, Deer Hunter. If I hit the heart, then I don't have to track it. If I completely miss vitals, then it's not worth the time it takes to track it. I mean, it's all up to, like, how you perceive it, uh, Tyler. The developers have not spoken out against it, so I don't see it as an issue. If the developers aren't uh, speaking out against it, then they probably don't really care too much. And at that point, it's just up to playing the way that you enjoy playing the game. Bird management has actually been around for like four or five years. It's just not really gotten big until now. Exactly, Ben. Same here. If the developers tell us that they don't want us doing it, then I would stop it immediately. For me, the way I see it is, if it, if it was actually something that they thought was a problem, they'd speak out against it. But they haven't. And in fact, they've just made game changes to kind of make it a little more difficult. Whether it was because of it or not is hard to tell, but like the spook distance, things like that. I think if anything, they're not going to... They're not going to say anything about it or change the way the respawns work. If anything, they're more likely to just implement different types of trophies that can't be manipulated by herd management. And to be honest, I think the game is going to head in that direction. I think one of these days we are going to see more trophies that are similar to rare fur types where there's no way to predict it. Oh. We got a two here. We could abandon this zone. We'll see. We'll see. We might abandon this zone. But as I was saying, eventually we're going to get stuff like non-typicals in Call of the Wild. As for when that'll happen, it's hard to say, but someday we'll get non-tips and... Since it'll be a new type of animal, they could totally make it so they're not affected by, like, the scores of animals on your map. They could totally make it so that they spawn like rares. And then that would give a new level of trophy to look for. So I think that's more likely to happen than them doing anything about herd management, right? I think we're more likely to just get new trophies added to make it so there's more to look for. That way, if diamonds ever become not special because of herd management, there'll be new stuff to look for. And if they keep adding more variation to great ones, that'll make it so even if you do herd management, your chances of getting the one you want are still pretty slim. But to be honest, I think that's why they did the moose the way they did. I feel like that's why they gave so much variety to the moose is because with so much variety it makes it so even if you herd manage and you get your great one pretty quick the odds of getting the exact combination you want are like one in 36 or something there's like over 30 combinations for the moose and so even if people find a lot of them I think they're still going to hold their uh, value as a trophy because the chances of getting the one you want are so slim and there's the ultra rares for them as well. There's albinos, melanistics, and piebald great one moose. So it gives a lot more variety. I don't think they will ever be able to change anything with herd management because of the way the game spawns stuff. The way everything works with the respawn system as we've seen. And the fact that it's such a core part of the game. I don't think they could ever change it. Oh, that's a five. However... Like I was saying, I definitely do think they could do things to counteract it and make it not as much of an issue. If they give us more trophies that aren't uh, spawned via the methods that diamonds and great ones are, make uh, a lot of trophies spawn the same way rares do, where it's completely random, then I think that would be very likely that that's the direction they'll take. Uh, yeah, B-dubs, they did. They did. He 
yeah, definitely, Luke, definitely. And I also think one thing they could do is just give more uh, variety to existing Great Ones and Diamonds. I think the best thing for Call of the Wild with the way it is now is adding more different tiers of rarities for animals. Just make it so there's a lot more variation to the existing animals to make it so there's more to look for. It obviously wouldn't be an easy task to add a bunch of new stuff in to give more variety, but I do think it would be worth it in the long run for everybody. No matter what type of gameplay style you use, I think more content benefits everybody. More trophy types, more like, uh, more randomness to trophies, I think it benefits everyone. Not too bad. Diamond Moose, number what, four of the day? This is the best day we've had in a while. Believe it or not, guys. I've said this before, but I know there's still some people that don't, that don't know this. I actually don't really care if herd management gets fixed or not. If they fix it, I'll be just as happy as if they don't because I very much am a trophy hunter and even even if they make stuff like uh, great ones and stuff harder to get by getting rid of great or uh, not great management herd management I'd still be grinding for them I'd still be happy about it if anything it would just make it so that I could stand out more because of my like grinding ethic right so I would not be mad if they got rid of it if they got rid of it, I'd still be, still be happy with it. Because if anything, my 12 hour grinding days would probably end up paying off more in the long run. Being able to grind as much as I do would definitely, it would definitely make it so I'd probably have a higher chance of being one of the first to get a new great one or something. Exactly, Sam. Uh, no, Della, we shot it like a week ago, or, well, not a week ago, like five days ago, four or five days ago. Yeah, that'd be cool, Luke. That would be cool. But yeah, like I was saying, the only reason I use herd management for my great ones is because it's the fastest and most efficient way to grind. Even though it can be annoying to set up, it's the quickest and most efficient way and that's why I do it. Which is why even if they got rid of it, it wouldn't affect me because I'd just look for what is the best way to do it then. Part of the fun for me is discovering all this stuff, discovering new ways to hunt that are efficient. And then trying to master them. Obviously, I didn't discover herd management, but... You guys get what I'm saying, I imagine. I love looking for, like, uh, the best ways to do things. Like, when I, was mul when I used to do lots of multiplayer hopping for diamonds, I was always looking for, like, what's the most efficient way to multiplayer hop for diamonds and rares? Is it picking one server and searching the entire map? Or is it going to like 20 servers and only checking like three lakes? I was always looking for ways that I could make it more efficient. What's my favorite great one? Right now it's the moose with white tail close behind, Kale. And honestly, that's the beauty of Call of the Wild is there is so many ways that we can play this game and still enjoy it. It's one of the really cool things that makes it such a popular hunting game, right? It's got so much variety and versatility in ways that you can play the game to enjoy it the way that you enjoy it the most, right? 
That's why it's such a popular game is like you can search for diamonds and rares and great ones if you want or you can just run around and hunt. You can grind a specific animal or just kind of multiplayer hop until you find a diamond or a rare. There's so many ways to play Call of the Wild. And that's why it is the number one hunting game. Come on, turn around for me. Silly little level three. Uh, watch my guide on it, uh, Zerkliz. That's really all you need to do and you'll have all of the information you could possibly want for uh, grinding the Great One Red Deer. If one of the mods could put the um, the link in chat, that'd be amazing. Uh, yeah, Flat Pop, I will shoot it. I, to be honest, I'm kind of over the whole stacking great ones. It was fun for a while because we hadn't done it before, but it, it's, I'm kind of over it. I'm over the stacking of great ones. I think from now on, we'll just shoot any great one that spawns on the spot. That's a big four. Man, we're getting some good respawns now. I think we did make the right decision shooting all the fives. Because I think we are far enough into this to where it's back into its sweet spot. I think it will for a while, Tucker. Obviously, every game will fall from its number one spot at some point. If history repeats itself, I would not be surprised if we get a brand new hunting game from Expansive Worlds within like three years. Because they introduced the Hunter Called Wild to the genre like, what, seven years into Classic's existence? Seven or eight years into the existence of the Hunter Classic? And I imagine they'll do the same with Call of the Wild. I imagine in a few years we'll have a brand new hunting game. And they'll probably still continue to support, um... Call the Wild, but I imagine if we get a new hunting game from EW, it'll probably take the spotlight. They, they're they pretty good at making games that large varieties of people will enjoy. And I think that Way of the Hunter has a shot at being the number one hunting game in the future. Uh, Way of the Hunter's got a really good baseline for a good game where it's realistic, but it's not... It's not so insanely realistic to where you just don't see any animals, right? Like, you can kill a lot of animals in Way of the Hunter pretty quickly, like you can in Call of the Wild. Not to the same extent, obviously, but... Fast enough to where it doesn't get boring. And I think as they add new content to Way of the Hunter, it has a chance of taking over as the number one game. If they continue to add the stuff the community is asking for like they have been, I think they got a chance at being the top game in like four or five years. Maybe less if they add a lot of really good stuff within the first couple years of its existence. I mean, pretty soon we're going to be getting a new map on Way of the Hunter. As for when, it's hard to say, but we should be getting a new map within the next couple months for Way of the Hunter, and that's going to be pretty cool. And obviously over time they're going to add more types of rares to the game. Right now, we've only got four different rares, but within the next year or so, I imagine most species will have rare fur types. Lots of really cool stuff coming for uh, Way of the Hunter. And they've kind of shared like a, uh, what's it called? A roadmap. So we know kind of what to expect. And there's a lot of cool stuff coming for Way of the Hunter. Oh, just uh, don't get too much hunting pressure, uh, Zerkliz, and never shoot your herd down to uh, less than two animals. That's a couple ways. Um, if it's solos that are going missing, there's no way to avoid that. Solos will always move. Like, if you have a zone that's like five males, that is actually five solo males. So that's kind of the way the red deer work. 
a bunch of solo males will group up into one zone. And uh, when you kill them, they're not going to go back to the same spot every time. So there's no way to avoid losing those zones. They kind of just bounce wherever they want. Moose are the same way. There's a lot of uh, solo moose that will join up with herds. And uh, when you shoot them, they just respawn kind of wherever. Oh, we need two main menu. Oh, to be honest, Matthew, if I had to choose between non-typicals being added to Way of the Hunter or Africa 2.0 and Call of the Wild, I think I would choose non-typicals and Way of the Hunter, not gonna lie. I am a sucker for non-typicals. That was uh, one of the reasons I kept playing the Hunter Classic for so long was because it had non-typicals. Zachary, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. What do you think the legality of using the likeness of real trophies in games would if they like added the Rompola buck or something like that? They've actually kind of already done that, uh, man. There's a few, um, there's a few great one racks that are based off of real ones. So they've kind of already done that. They never do it 100% the same. To be honest, all they got to do to avoid copyright stuff is just change a few times here and there. And it it's, then it's basically a new animal, right? But they've done that with a few of the great ones. I know the, uh, what's it called? The great one Red Deer Small Rack is based off of a Red Deer Rack that was off of a Red Deer from the, Cord I believe it's Cordona Safaris or Cordrona Safaris or something like that. It's on their website, the picture of it. And it looks almost identical to the uh, Small Rack. Small Rack Red Deer. Uh, well, no, King Charles, but I believe if if they were to copy it 100% the same, I guess technically the person that killed it would be able to do something about it. I don't know. But there's got to be a reason why they don't do them 100% identical, right? How many different games do I play? Uh, right now, like, f probably four or five, Matthew. But I've played tons of games over the years, and I crashed. Thanks, Call of the Wild. Much appreciated. Well, actually, now, now I can tell you exactly what games I played recently. So, in the last two weeks, I've played Among Trees, I've played Marauders, Seven Days to Die, Way of the Hunter, um, Call of the Wild, and then I also played Escape from Tarkov. Those are the games that I've been playing recently. I did, Jacob, but I stopped playing it when I found out how shady the developers were for Hunting Sim 2. Um, they essentially just got their money and abandoned the game. After saying that they were going to support it, and then they added two DLCs that nobody wanted. And didn't fix a lot of the stuff that needed to be fixed. And then just went completely radio silent and haven't said anything in over a year. And that's, that's kind of what the developers of the Hunting Sim games have always done. They release a product that is good enough to get people's attention and then never fix anything or add anything good to it. It's unfortunate. Because I really think that, uh, I think Hunting Sim 2 had good potential. It could have been a good hunting game, but they just didn't improve any of the stuff that needed improvement. Like, if they had just improved the behavior and the models of the animals, and made it so there was, like, more types of, like, rare variations of animals, more antlers, some type of randomized antler system, it could have been a good game. Because they had a good baseline. Like, the, uh, the guns were pretty decent, the customization for the character was awesome. The dogs were passable. So they, they could have done something good with it, but they just didn't want to put in the work. You know, it wouldn't be surprised if we see a Hunting Simulator 3 in a couple years and it'll be the exact same.
To be honest, I'm excited for when uh, Ultimate Hunting will release. I want to see if it's going to be as good as we hope it is. Because that game, it seems like if it's got... If they're able to pull off everything they want to, it'll probably be a pretty good hunting game. Little level four there. So we get one respawn at this lake. One consistent respawn. Did not get heart there. Oh yeah, I know, Luke. I'm excited for it, but I've tried not to I've tried not to put too much hype behind Ultimate Hunting because we haven't actually seen any gameplay yet. They released like maybe a 10 second gameplay video and then like a three or four second video of an animal getting shot, but we haven't actually seen uh, video footage of full gameplay yet. And so I'm just holding my hype back until we see some actual gameplay. Because my, my biggest fear is that they are promising too much and won't be able to put it all in the game. Because they, they've shown off a lot of stuff for, like, a lot of screenshots for things in Ultimate Hunting. I just fear that maybe they're... <sighs> Stupid ATVs, these... <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> These ATVs hate me, man. They hate me. Silly ATVs. Just launching me. <laughs> that bleep scared you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. No, Caleb, it's all for comedic value. Believe it or not, uh, the bleep thing doesn't actually block anything out. It's just a sound effect. So I have to just stop talking whenever I press the beep. It's just for comedic value. Capricallies. What is ultimate hunting? It's a, um, it's a game that was announced a few years ago. That is supposed to have quite a bit. It's supposed to be a really good hunting game. Uh, supposed to have stuff like um, elephants and a huge variety of um, like attachments for the weapons. A super advanced customization system. It's supposed to have a random antler system. Um, you know, all that good stuff. And we really haven't... Um, we haven't really seen any gameplay of it. But we've seen like a uh, basic announcement trailer and stuff like that. It looks like it'll be a good game provided they can add everything that they want to. Alright, let me check my Escape from Tarkov drop rewards real quickly. See if I can claim the next one. There we go. There we go. Is it PC only? Yes, it will be PC only for the first year or two, and then it will be brought to consoles eventually. Uh, but the initial launch of Ultimate Hunting will be PC only because it'll be early access. Um, they're going to be doing like a Steam early access thing where you're essentially helping them test and weed out the bugs and stuff and then once the game hits full release it will be on console as well as for which consoles we don't really know yet but i'm excited to uh try it out when they release it i'm hoping they'll be able to fit in all the content that they've wanted to because if they can man it's going to be an exciting game provided they can give us all the stuff that they want to That's the way things are going to be, though, Luke. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to see a lot of games getting released in the future that will be next-gen consoles only. That's just kind of the way console gaming works. After a few years, 
the a lot of developers will stop releasing to a console and they'll just focus on the current consoles. So that's why you see a lot of games recently going to like current generation of consoles only and not Xbox One and PlayStation 4 uh, because those systems are actually getting pretty old now. So most developers will stop supporting those consoles. Just part of the life cycle of a uh, of a console and a game. How about I rank the four great ones? Uh, moose, whitetail, red deer, and then bear. The only reason bear at the end is because there's no antlers, so they're not that interesting to me. Yeah, definitely, Luke, definitely. That's why I love PC, though, is there's never really any, any limitations on, like, what... You don't have to worry about it not getting a game, usually. Not to mention, you don't have to pay for internet. Or, not internet. You don't have to pay to play online on PC, which I love. Uh, yeah, there is a bear great one. There's a black bear great one. That could be cool, uh, Orbog. Got an Xbox One when I was in junior high school, and by that point, it was out for a couple of years. Oof. Jeez, man. Yeah, it's been out a while. The Xbox One has actually been out for a very, very long time. To be honest, even the Series S and X have been out for a couple of years now. Nice, John, nice. I'll probably be hopping on there in a couple hours. Nice, Michael, nice. Come on, great one, where are you? Not there, but that's a big four. We're getting more consistent, like, uh, big males now. Thank our herds are finally back into a good place. Gosh, that was so annoying how we lost a bunch of our shootable moose. And then they just randomly returned plus more. Gosh, that, that really threw things for uh, for a loop. Was not able to get off the shot there. That should be vitals. Yeah, it is. We got vitals. Nice. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. PS4 is like five years old, maybe six. Gotcha. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Yeah, that'd be cool, Caleb. That'd be cool. Uh, you've already been answered, uh, Zerkles. Be, be sure to watch the chat as well. People in chat will answer questions also. If I don't acknowledge the question, somebody in chat usually will answer it, so pay attention to the chat after you uh, ask a question, because I can't answer everything. There's a lot of people in here, a lot of questions come through every day, it's impossible to read them all. PS4 is nine years old, that is insane. Gosh, that's crazy. That is wild. Uh, no, Kale. If it's just a cow, you can leave it. If anything, that just means that that's a one less spot that you have to check, right? This thing ran a ways, man. It ran a long ways. A 
And to be honest, I don't remember, Charlie. It's been so long since we did my first Great One Red Deer grind. I don't remember what the uh, diamond count was. Couple big male fours there. What PC do I have? It's a uh, custom built one. Uh, could one of the moderators drop the PC command? That will uh, list off all the specs for my PC. What the? What are these moose doing? It's only 15.30, they shouldn't be leaving. That's moose for you. They do some unexplainable things. Thanks, uh, Zerkles. As a content creator, I kind of have to have a decent PC or else I'm not able to, to stream at the quality I'd like to. Little level three there. There should be a second, second herd. Yeah, it's crazy, Necron. Hey, it's just that luck turning around for you, man. You had a very bad luck streak for a while. Very large bad luck streak. It's nice to see that it's finally turned around for you. You know, we're going to take that one out as well. I like having two shootables over there. Jeez, Endo, that's wild. And aren't you doing no herd management, uh, Necron? From what I remember, you're not doing it? That's insane. That is crazy that you managed to get three in a week without it. Jeez. That is just insanity. That's insanity, man, I tell you. I was just always something I wanted to do, Coins. Ever since I was like 14, I wanted to be a YouTuber. And uh, when, when, the, when the old Corona hit, I decided that it was the perfect time to like really take it serious and try to turn it into something that I could do for a living. And also to pass the time. Like, like I said, it was always something I had wanted to do and it gave me the perfect opportunity to do it. The whole, uh, whole Corona thing, it really, uh, it really made it so I had just an insane amount of time to learn how to do YouTube, learn how to do everything to make it actually look good. And, uh, been doing it ever since then. And I could not be happier with how things have worked out. It's always been my dream to be able to do it. I uh, know Kimmet has not been fixed. And in fact, there's really not been any uh, any word on when it will be fixed. They haven't said anything. We might need to set up a stand like right there. Hey, Aviator, how's it going, man? Ah, uh, to be honest, uh, Buttertoast, I would say just hunt Leighton for the Great One Whitetail. I think it's one of the best maps, to be honest, for Whitetail. And it comes with the base game, so even better. If I had to pick an animal to be a great one, what would it be? Black-tail deer. Easily black-tail deer. Ooh, that's rough, Indo. I've had a couple that were that bad. Gosh, those, those feral goats. They are something else. 
Feral goats, reindeer, caribou, feral pigs. They all seem to be very trolly. That's a thick four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two here? Is that a shootable or is that a small three? No, that's... Is it? That's a shootable. Where'd you come from? What the? What the? What's going on? All these silly moose. Uh, 23 in total, Nancy. 23 in total. All the uh, stats are on screen for it. Really, Kathy? That's wild. I wish mine were being consistent. Mine just never want to be consistent, I swear. They'll start being consistent for like a, a couple runs and then they're like, okay, let's throw a new herd here and then make all the others disappear. Yeah, sounds about right, Necron. My first, um, I think my first failure goat ever was a diamond. And then I had like 21 trolls in a row, in a row. It was terrible. It was so bad. It made me despise feral goats. Uh, yeah, Aviator, we do. We were grinding them really hard for a while. I think at this point I've got 23,000 whitetail kills. <coughs> 244, not too bad. Probably not uh, insane, WR. I've I've actually done face cam streams like within the last year, so there's not really a need to. All you gotta do is go to the 50k celebration streams, and boom, that's what I look like now. Are there albino mela great one moose? Yes, there is. There is. Pieballs as well. Uh, yeah, Jacob. Hunt near water. That's going to be like the best tip I can give you. If you're hunting near water, you're going to see a lot more animals because every animal has a drink time at some point during the day. And it's much easier to find water than it is to roam through the uh, woods and try to figure out where the animals are feeding, right? So I recommend going around the water. Whenever you find an animal, um, you know, spot them and get their need zone and then see what time they drink at. And then you'll know that every single animal or every single one of that species on the map will be drinking at that same time. And so then you can start searching all the water at that time and uh, you'll find lots of animals. Another tip is always aim for the lungs. So shoot right behind the shoulder. And that'll ensure that you kill the majority of the animals that you shoot. That's a big four. Guys, perfectly behind the tree.
That was an interesting kill speed. Um. Yeah, that was an interesting kill speed. That died quicker than double lung, I think, but it died slower than heart shot. What did we hit? Thank you, WR. Yeah, this one could be a big one. Definitely could be big. How many different racks and fur variations are there for the Great One Moose? There is, um, I believe, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like ten variations of furs between the fabled furs, the rares, and the common. I believe there's like ten or eleven. That's a diamond. And then for antlers, there's four different varieties for the antlers. So there is a ton of combinations that you could possibly get for the Great One Moose. The diamonds are finally popping up like crazy again. Uh, yeah, Kathy, we're done stacking now. We honestly didn't have to do it for very long. It got back in the groove super quickly. Ooh, too low. It'll go down though. Next run, great one. I hope so. Been a while since we've had one. It's been like what? Over a week since our last one spawned and over a thousand kills. I think we're almost due for one. Me too, Braylon. That'd be great. Uh, no, Poke Games. I don't think they ever will. I don't think it's a priority for them, and I don't think they'd be able to, to be honest. They would have to rework pretty much everything in the game to make it, like, run on the Switch properly. Because typically, Nintendo Switch games are a little bit lower graphics quality than um, other platforms. Obviously, because it has to run on a handheld device. But, um... I don't think they could really do that with uh, Call of the Wild. I think it would be too much work. Probably be too much work and money to do. Big ol' four. Dude, we've been getting some giant fours. Please give us a great one. Where's the other herd? Where are they? We got any stragglers? Nope. Yeah, when it's decent, it's probably going to be high 260s for the score, I would imagine. Okay, this other herd just doesn't want to show up. I guess they're just being stubborn. Yep, they're being stubborn. Oh, pulled too high. I accidentally pulled up last second. He'll go down though, we're good. Call the wild VR would be crazy? Oh yeah, that'd be nuts. But again, sadly, I think it's something they'll never be able to do. I do both, uh, King Charles. I've played a lot of PvP in the past, 
Recently, it's been more PvE as I don't have as much time to play Ark as I used to. There he is. Two forty seven, okay, it was actually smaller than I thought. Guess it was uh one rack size down. Me too, Reed. I'd like to have a seven mil with uh more than one round. That would be really nice. Bolt action seven mil would be sick. That's a five. 280 minimum, wow. That one's probably gonna score 280. If I were to take a guess, that's a 280. Big male. Oh gosh, John. <laughs> That's crazy. Two eighty four. Wow, little bit bigger than I thought it would be. I thought 280 on the dot. 284.55. You almost nailed it, John. You almost nailed it. Did anybody nail that? I think John was the closest at 285. Holy. Maybe coins. I could see them doing that in the future. Um, it can vary a lot, um, bruh. For me, I think... I think I have between, like, 10 and 15 shootables that I'm shooting. But I'm sure there's a bunch of solos on the map that I'm missing. Because there's a few that move around every single run and it's hard to keep track of them. Nice, Matthew. That's awesome. Inconsistent moose, I see. Why do they do this? These moose are so, so inconsistent. Oh, I was zeroed wrong. I was zeroed wrong. This is a 150 zero area. Not a 300. <laughs> what was that shot? What did we just hit? Whatever it was, I'll take it. Yeah, Jace, you totally could. It's never too late or too early to start it. You can do it at any time. Just like if you're doing it, you can stop it at any time as well. Also, this mail has not returned. I don't like that. Where'd he go? Where's our moosey going? Do I need to go slaughter like 50 million reindeer? I might have to to get some of our respawns to be consistent again. I don't know why that helps, but it really seems like it does. Oh, definitely, Endo. Gotta love the caves. Ark's caves are great. 
Curious if Arc 2 is going to have caves. You know, I think... Oh my gosh, I know what happened. Guys, I know what happened. The reason that this is all females now is the female that I killed here swapped with the male. Because they were... Wow. Yeah, because this has been... We've had a, a shootable bull here every run for the last three runs. If it was a solo, that wouldn't be happening, really. That's what happened. They swapped. Let's go confirm, though. We just spotted that guy and then shot him, so we'll go find his highlighted track and see if it's tied to a herd or if it's a solo. Um, sometimes, Sam, I do d some uh, art content. Typically, it's just live streams, though. Oh, definitely both, Joe. Like, I, I enjoy both quite a bit. Where is one of his zones? Need to find, like, a zone uh, track. I don't actually know if he left one. I guess he didn't leave one. Oh, well. Oh, they definitely are, Indo. They definitely are. We got a muscular deer over there. What the? Oh, I thought it was dead. I was going to say, what? What? <laughs> But no, they're sleeping. I, I swear, I thought there was a dead pig over there. Um, uh, maybe, Matthew. To be honest, I have no idea what would even be on there. I'm not familiar with what species could be in Greenland. Hey now, come back here, level three. That was weird. It didn't uh, chamber around. I had to click twice. <laughs> nice draw, nice. That would be kind of cool, Flat Pop. That would be really cool. Maybe it only counts, like, uh, the time you've been playing the game, though? Or would it count, like, since the day, the day that it spawned? Like, maybe be like, this animal... This animal spawned one week, two days, and three hours ago, or something like that. What's my favorite great one? Uh, the moose is. Whitetail are a close second, though. Ooh, I need to go to a different lake real quick before I forget about it. I keep forgetting to go back to the zone next to the outpost in the bottom right. This one right here, I always forget about it. We need to go check what's there. I'm uh, not sure uh, the hunter no one knows about. Probably when my ram gets here. I ordered more ram, so I hopefully don't crash while playing Tarkov and streaming it. So, 
That's gonna arrive here tomorrow, which means we'll probably do a Tarkov stream tomorrow to test it out to see if it fixed the crashing issue. It should fix it, but there's no guarantee. What is RAM? It's the memory in your computer. Yeah, Indo, you know what's insane, man? I've got 32 gigabytes of DDR5, right? It's relatively high speed as well. And Tarkov still uses up all my memory and crashes my stream. There's some type of wild memory leak or something. What happened to my favorite great one being Red Deer? Oh, uh, pretty much after I killed the six that I've killed, I realized that there's like so little variety to the Red Deer. There's only three different antler variations and one fur type. And it just made me not be as interested in the Red Deer. Like, Whitetail have six different racks. Plus the chance of getting Fabled Piebald. And then you look at Moose and there's like 40 different combinations of fur types and antlers. And so Red Deer dropped down quite a bit. Yeah, exactly, MC. And the thing is, like, I've... I did so much research yesterday trying to figure out what it is. Nobody could... I, I couldn't find any answers. There's a lot of people that have had this issue with Tarkov, but nobody knows the way to fully fix it. The only thing that I found that has a chance of making it better is... Um... Increasing the size of your paging file. And so I did that. But then I also bought some more RAM just to be on the safe side. Because it's also possible that maybe I've got a bad RAM stick. It's possible that one of the sticks of RAM is just bad. And so if I've got 64 gigs, there should be no reason why it would use up all of it. So I'm hoping it'll be fine. And plus... As a content creator that does a lot of streaming and recording and the fact that I'm streaming and or recording in 1440p and streaming in 1080p, I feel like I need the extra memory anyway. It'll be nothing but beneficial to the stream. Wow, we actually hit that. Yeah, exactly, Kathy. That's why I feel like there's a problem with either my RAM stick or... But the thing is, like, I had this issue before I got this new PC. I wonder if maybe I've got something wrong with my Windows installation. Like, I'm wondering if I need to reinstall Windows or something. Because there's got to be a reason why it's doing this. There's got to be a reason that whenever I'm playing Tarkov, it uses up all 30, all 32 gigs of my RAM. There's got to be a reason for it. I honestly feel like there might be something corrupted in my uh, Windows installation, or maybe there's like a... Uh, some type of malware or something that's been undetected by antivirus. There's got to be some reason why that happens. It's just so difficult to pinpoint what it is. I'm thinking eventually I'll probably just upgrade to Windows 11. Even though I like Windows 10 and don't really want to have to upgrade to Windows 11. Might have to. Might have to just so it's a fresh install. Welcome back, Johnny. Welcome back.
I know, John, I don't want to have to do it, but I might upgrade to Windows 11. Might have to. It's not terrible. I like Windows 10 better, but Windows 11's not bad. Laughs in Opera GX. Opera GX is great, Sam. I love it. It's so good. Opera GX for the win. Best browser. Oh, I thought that was the legs of a rare moose. It's trees. <laughs> Talk about getting trolled by Call of the Wild. It tricked me. It did. At some point, Carter, I want to get a couple of the special fur types for the moose first. Nice, Kathy, that's awesome. I would recommend watching the white tail guy that I've got, Courtney. I've got a white tail guy that should help you out quite a bit. Those are the same two female Capricali that walked past us last time here. Silly little fellers. What's my favorite animal to hunt? I'd say whitetail are the most fun for me. Whitetail have been a very fun uh, animal to hunt recently. Red deer are probably number two for me. Um, I'd say blacktail deer, uh, creator man. And I'd like it to be a giant non-typical blacktail buck with barbed wire stuck in its antlers. Like barbed wire wrapped around its antlers. And then I'd like another variation that is like a giant non-typical in the velvet. Possibly with the velvet like shredding off of it. That's something I've wanted for years. I'd love to see a great one get like the um, like shedding its velvet where it's kind of like draping down off the antlers. Because they look majestic. Super majestic. Okay, still two twos. Nothing else has arrived here. Good to know. Good to know. Nice, Brandon. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's not a common thing to have happen. Nice, Evo. You can start with your first zone, Nick. It's honestly just a misconception that you have to find all your zones before grinding. 
you don't have to. You can start grinding from the very first second that you find yourself a zone. It won't affect your grind in any negative way. Okay, those ones are being stubborn. Uh, let's check up here, actually. Been a bit since we've gone here. Maybe we got a random respawn. Nice, Kim. Nice. I'm assuming you're talking about the, uh, the mission one? Pretty cool. Hey Toxic, how's it going, dude? You know what's interesting? This zone always is spawning threes, while some of the other zones are always spawning fours. I find that interesting. It seems like sometimes there's some zones that spawn the big ones more often than others. I mean, it's probably just coincidence. But it's hilarious how there's always some zones that always spawn the big males. I feel like everybody's got that one zone that just seems to always spawn the big ones. Um, I don't recommend shooting those, uh, Zerklees, just because sometimes they will... Uh, make your respawns go to different places than where they normally do. Yeah, Jacob, we're still going. Any diamonds? Yeah, we got a few diamonds, uh, Toxic. We finally got our diamond feral pig. And then, uh, for the moose, we've had, like, what? Five diamonds? Been a solid day of hunting. Oh, same, Johnny. It's still one of my dream trophies. I still so badly want one. Yeah, exactly, Michael. We need that albino. Four and three. Alright guys, as much as I want to continue on, we've been going for quite a while now, and I need to go get some food and stuff, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream there, because I also need to do some editing and things like that. I didn't get the editing done today, so we ended up not having a video today. Uh, there will be a video tomorrow, and it'll be a classic multiplayer hunt. Just like the old days of the channel, since I know a lot of people have been missing those types of hunts. So we're doing a, a classical OG Scarecrow Silver Ridge Peaks multiplayer hunt. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, thank you all for being here. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!